saw it in the vision. They were my fears. <gasps> no! I've done everything you've asked. Well, now it's time you learn. <laughs> Consider it a gift. never solicited for money. He wasn't even at the convention. You know, this bastard doesn't even have a website. And still he's got 10 grand to run for office? You know, I just don't- Are you afraid of this guy? You wanna see him? You ain't lying. Might as well clean out your desk. That's what I wanna do, I just wanna keep on moving. I wanna move to Florida, that's what I need to do. Move to Miami, South Beach. Somewhere warm. No, South Beach, Miami, where the fucking party starts at 5 a.m. The deals that he's gotten in his life, some of them his fault, some of them he didn't ask for. Chronic myelogenous leukemia, or CML, is seen mainly in people who are 55 to 65 years old. I was 25. I think I had about every negative reaction to radiation, chemotherapy, the transplant itself. I know I had graft-versus-host disease of just about everything. You don't think of yourself as being left behind by your children. I wasn't the one who put myself out of control for the first time in my life, and I didn't understand how to deal with that, I guess. I don't know. You know, you're in charge of your life, not me. Nobody else. I also chose to find some of my own medication, and, uh, you know, I just figured it didn't make a difference. You know, I was going to die anyways. They told me I was going to die, and, and but I didn't. I started gaining weight immediately. and. Uh, um, the street drug that I was using, it's not common with gaining weight. I was using meth to party, man. Yeah. Like, fucking, I was sick and they told me I would die if I stopped taking my meds, so I fucking started using it because I wanted to die. Like, it was what I needed to be here, even though I didn't want to be. <laughs> and, uh, I don't, uh, I don't get it. My mom, uh, she was a single parent, had two kids, well, three kids now, but like, it's just amazing that I could be here and doing what I'm doing right now. I was raised in a privileged household. Both of my parents were college graduates. I feel privileged in the sense just because I'm a white person in society, but at other times I feel like I'm at a disadvantage with being a female. <laughs> no, I don't feel privileged. I feel privileged with being in this country for being able to go to school, for being able to speak my mind, for not being disappeared like in Central and South America. I pass as white. Um, the actual reality of my ancestry is a bit more complicated, but I certainly get the benefit of being read that way in social interactions. We have lynched black people that have never been convicted of a crime. Like my skin isn't completely dark or I'm not completely white and just like the way how I look, if I were to say something to somebody else, they would get offended. My family didn't own slaves. I wasn't here, so I'm not going to feel guilty. To be honest, the minority in the world is the majority. You are what you are because of your past, and what you do now will become your future. 
I do know that when anybody from either side promotes racism as a means to win, then then essentially they're as guilty as anyone else who's racist. If you accept the term minority, then you are one. It's not that other people will treat you differently because of your gender, because of your orientation, because of the tone of your skin. Th that I understand, but you define who you are. I'd do anything for you.